You're out of order. Please be seated. Honorable Nikal, please be seated. You can request to raise a point of order. Honorable Makalu, what do you want to raise? You can raise your point of order. You, you know, Honorable Speaker, with all due respect, we are not opposing this motion. And any time we say point of order, it is important you allow us to, to raise the issues we have. The, what we are saying, Honorable Speaker, the motion on climate change, the, the bill on climate change, and, and the money laundering bill were debated in this house yesterday afternoon. Yesterday, okay, many, oh, sorry. Honorable, Honorable Majority Leader, you have said many times, you listen to proceedings of the house even when you are not in this house. Why, why do you want to have double standards for members? Why do you want to have double standards for members? Let him proceed. Let him proceed. It's not a must that I must Finish sit here for me to listen to the own proceedings. And, and Honorable Chair, I remember very well, just to confirm I was listening, Honorable T.G. Kagrang did indicate that he would want to move some amendments to this bill. That was said yesterday afternoon. Now, when you bring this bill this early in the morning, on a serious note, understanding orders are very clear in terms of allowing members to have time to move their amendments. What are we doing to this house? Our own standing orders. Madam Chair, I think we have been very unfair to members in terms of their own motions. Today is our Wednesday when we should be discussing private members' bills. Personally, I have a bill uh, which is uh, in the queue. I have not been allocated time to prosecute my bill. And the only time we have Wednesday morning, then we take it up with the bills which have been rushed through. We need to be serious. That's why we are having agreements in this house, but other agreements which add no value to this country. And we continue supporting them because work as well, work as well, work as well. Okay. Ah. What's your point of order, Honorable Mili? Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, there's a, a growing trend which is very dangerous in this House. We know that we have a majority in the House, as has been proven even by the eyes. We know we have a minority. But the practice is you let the minority have their say, even as the majority have their way. But the way we are moving in this house is very dictatorial and we are muzzling members' voices. And sometimes we have very valid issues that we want to raise. We will still have reached the same uh, conclusion, but having heard our voices. Madam Speaker, the concern I wanted to raise, which I was not given a chance, is that I have forwarded amendments to two of the bills that were subject of that motion. They were subject of that motion, and I'm understanding, I'm, I'm on a point of order, so the majority leader cannot overrule my, my, my point of order. So, Madam Speaker, I have brought amendments to the climate bill, which I've forwarded. I have brought amendments to the food and feed bill, which are forwarded. So, all I wanted to know, because we are moving at supersonic speed, has the House received my amendments? And are we going to prosecute my amendments this morning? From the history of this house, you know I rarely come to this house in the morning. But I'm here from the moment you started because I take my work seriously, especially at the committee of the whole house. And I want to correct the majority leader. It's not third reading. It's committee of the whole house. And I want to say, therefore, Madam Speaker, that when you are moving at supersonic speed, and we are not giving members a chance to prosecute order, their own amendment. Leader? But I'm on, a, I'm on a point of order. How can you overrule my point of order? Oh, point we, no longer, we no longer have we no longer have roots in this house. If I'm on a point of order, order if really? I'm on a point of order, you do not overrule my point of order, you Madam have Speaker. Your point of order, I thought. Yeah, but that that you should not then allow him to stand while I'm still standing. It's unprocedural. Madam Speaker, be very fair. It's very unprocedural. Okay, I will Mili, sit down and I follow the rules, but I sit down when you tell me my time is done. But it doesn't stand when I'm standing, whether it's majority leader or heavenly leader. I will not stand when I'm standing. Thank you, Madam Thank Speaker. Thank you. You've made your point. You'll get a chance. Let us proceed. Yes, majority leader. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. And I choose to ignore the unnecessary tirade from uh, Honorable Emilio Diambo, who has her own issues, which have nothing to do with the House or the leader of majority. She can deal with her issues at home, not here. 
Honorable Speaker, our standing orders, standing order number 85 is quite clear, Honorable Speaker. We are at order number 8. When I listen, if you can protect me from uh, sp the spewing of uh, what you can hear from the Honorable Member for Suba something. We are at order number 8, Honorable Speaker. And from the issues I've had been conversed by order, Honorable Makali, Honorable Mili, Honorable Mili, Honorable Mili, if uh, you continue shouting from there, I will have you leave the house. But please be, be orderly. If you do, this is the last warning I'm giving you. Yes. Proceed. Honorable Speaker, I was saying we are at order number eight. When I listen to what the Honorable Makali, who is a very decent and uh, honorable member, who prosecutes his issues with a lot of decorum and maturity, without having to shout, without having to uh, spew the kind of things you hear being spewed. <laughs> honorable Speaker, order number eight was a procedural motion. We are here to get to order number 14. If I count, we have another five orders before we get to order number 14. So, uh, five motions, Honorable Speaker. So, I was wondering, why are we now jumping order number 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and prosecuting order number 14? And Honorable Mili is speaking about procedures. Procedurally, you should wait for order number 14 to raise the issues you have on, on order number 14. The same with my good brother and uh, very good friend, the Honorable Makali. And he knows. Uh, that's why you see him smiling. Uh, he's not as emotional as Mil Honorable Mili. <laughs> because he knows what he's doing is not the right thing. And I would uh, beg, Honorable Speaker, that we proceed uh, with the orders as listed on the order paper. Because what I see now is filibustering and trying to waste our valuable time after we woke up very early to be here. And you know, some of us like Mili and myself, uh, no, myself I'm usually here, but Mili usually comes at 6 p.m. It is now 9, not 6 p.m. Honorable Speaker. Honorable Member, Honorable Chepkonga, what is it? Uh, th thank you, thank you very much, um, yeah, you know. Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I rise pursuant to standing order number 85, as read together with standing order number 83. Madam Speaker, there's a trend in this house where everybody just stands on a point of order. Standing order number 83 is very clear. Madam Speaker, you must not allow any member, including the member of Kitui Central, who is serving his third term, to just to shout point of order and he has no point of order that he's standing on. He's a ranking member. He has not quoted any standing order. I've listened very carefully. I have listened very... No, don't worry about my going home. Going home is natural, in, including going to heaven. That is, in fact, on one day you will go home to heaven. Forget about the one here. Madam Speaker, 